to earn more the first thing is to learn the difference between your assets and liabilities a very warm greetings to everyone today we are here under the guidance of our mentor with our project under the sub theme business in the time of pandemic and post pandemic situations the aim of this project is to tell you the reason why stock market is increasing while the economy is facing a loss we would also be telling what are the industries that are becoming the lifeline of indian economy during the pandemic and are likely to be the same in the future recently indian stock exchange crossed the evaluation of 3 trillion dollars due to which it became the world's eighth biggest stock market but indian economy contracted by 8% last it year it became the world's eighth biggest stock market but indian economy contracted by 8% last year moreover 75 million indians were pushed into poverty and the middle class shrunk by 30 million so let us discuss how it is happening there are two main reasons the first reason is stock market is about not about the entire economy as per paul kornman the nobel prize winner economist stock market is about one piece of the economy that is corporate profit and the investors today believe that as soon as the situations will turn better corporate markets will start focusing on profit making and the second reason is that the nature of economy and stock market are different that is stock market is forward looking while the economic indicators are backward looking so let us now look what are the sectors that are becoming lifeline of indian economy during covid pandemic the sectors are edutech telecommunication e-commerce ott video streaming market and fifth is online gaming while sectors like digital marketing stock market investing edutech online com- uh, collaboration tools e-commerce agriculture and the giga economy or the freelance work are likely to be the future lifeline of our economy so if you are likely to invest then these sectors can become an asset for you and also make sure you are not investing in penny stocks and don't forget to draw the personal financial road map to evaluate your comfort zone in taking on risk and keep in mind that start early invest regularly and be patient will lead to better returns in the future